Hey, hey everybody, Jason here. I'm back with another video for you guys today. Today is actually Super Bowl Sunday, and before I head over to Lee's house to watch the game, I thought we would do a quick unboxing of my TLR 22T 4.0, and then I'm actually gonna start the build as well. So I'm gonna start the build here in just a few minutes, but I thought before we do that, we'll get this thing out of the box. So come on over, take a look, and we'll get this thing unboxed together. Okay, let's get this thing out of the box. Got some scissors, I couldn't find my my trusty bat knife, so I figured we'd use some scissors to tear the cellophane open and break the seal. Obviously, I've never opened this, otherwise it wouldn't be covered in cellophane the way that it is. Stadium truck has a pretty pretty interesting history. It's, it's always been a super fun class. A lot of people thought that short course would kind of end stadium truck forever. And it's funny because that just really hasn't happened. I'm struggling here. Come on now. I guess I could have got a knife. That would have been the smart thing to do. Okay. Boom. That's the first, first look. Right off the rip you can see that it's got this really nice laser cut, pre-cut body. Just needs the holes drilled for mounting. Super nice, and it's, it's thick. It actually, man, this thing feels like, it actually feels really heavy duty, which is a good thing. Here. Unlike, unlike buggies, trucks take a super bad beating on the bodies when you crash. Huge deal, wheels are included in the box. Yellow, I've already bought some white wheels. When I, when I ordered the truck, I ordered some separate white wheels, but here are the wheels. Battery brace, you guys can see that. And then everything else. This is actually the, the uh, the tuning parts bag, all of these 22 4.0 series vehicles seem to come with this, at least the primary ones, the truck and the 22 4.0 buggy. Bag C, this is the, the race kit. I'm guessing this is the lay down transmission and all that stuff. And then everything else is just in here separately. Pretty much, it's always, their stuff's always packaged up really nice. Bag A, you can see it's got the front, the front pivot, side guards, all this kind of stuff. The D bag, of course, that has the looks like there's the rear tower, arms, all kinds of stuff. I can't help but giggle. Got these super nice aluminum hexes for the back of the car. I'm sure it has aluminum hexes up front too. Bag B, arms, bearings. One one weak spot that we've kind of come to find on a lot of the 22 4.0 vehicles is the front spindles. The bearings tend to break out of the inserts that go into the spindles. This isn't the end of the world, and a lot of people have switched over to either running to, like to low C22 3.0 spindles, or in some cases, even the 22 2.0 spindles. There was some new, it looks like Losi had some new fancy parts going on at Reedy, so I, I have a feeling there's gonna be more kind of new updated stuff coming. Shocks, baggy shocks. Looks like there's one bottle of shock oil that's 32 and a half. Losi has amazing shocks, probably the number one reason why their cars land so well. Ser serialized chassis. Of course, really nice. Just the fit and finish is really good on these cars. Some people complain, and I was one of the early guys that really didn't like the fact that everything was so super tight, like the screws fitting into the plastics. But I've come to I've come to deal with it, especially because they tell you to use a little bit of black grease or chapstick. Here's the wing, antenna tube, decals, manual, and it looks like there's some fasteners in here, probably for the wing. So that's about it. One other thing, I don't know if you guys can see right here. I'm gonna try and pull this back. I think this is, I'm guessing that this is the fan mount. I'm guessing that this is the separate fan mount right here. It's showing you in the manual. But a lot of cool features and I'm really excited to get this thing built. Like I said, I think a lot of people thought that short course would end up replacing stadium truck, but that just hasn't been the case. It seems to me like stadium trucks tend to be easier to drive buggies and you still get that open wheeled racing that's going on where with a short course people are a lot more aggressive and they're a lot more likely to hit you and uh and open wheel racing just a little bit less forgiving so this is kind of like this is kind of like middle ground it's kind of like a little bit easier to drive than a buggy and not quite it and the skill level tends to be a little bit higher in these classes as opposed to short course when you go club racing so that's it that's what's in the box Okay, well that's it. That's everything that comes in the box. Pretty awesome. The body's super nice. Wheels are super nice. Overall, I really think that TLR has done a great job of providing a lot of value for, for their kits. So, so that's it. Stay tuned. We'll be doing some, some reviews, some builds, all that stuff here in the very near future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.